Now if we click over to composition number three called Shatter 3D Type, we see that there's some type that's already been created in a pre-comp. If we use the option key, then double click on this pre-comp, we can see that it's merely the type tool that's been used to create this type. But you should note that the composition size for this type is very large. We'll navigate back up to the main composition, then here we'll apply our shatter effect. So under effects, we'll go down to simulation, then apply shatter. If we switch our view from wireframe and forces to rendered, you can see that the effect is going to obey the alpha channel and shatter the layer into pieces based on where it's not transparent. We also know that we can change the shape to any of these other presets. But we can also change this to a custom shape. So here, at the very top of the patterns, I'll choose custom. Once I choose custom, the effect is going to require me to choose a custom shatter map. Here I'm going to choose the layer itself as the map. Once I select this, I can see that every piece of the layer is starting to float around. I'll simply move back to the beginning of the timeline by using the home key. Then we'll define some of the parameters of the effect. We'll change the extrusion depth to 2. We can already start to see some of the 3D extrusions starting to come together but then we'll also change values for the parameters at the bottom of this effect. Under textures, we can change the way the new extrusion is rendered. Here we can change the mode for the front, side, and back layers. So for the front mode, I'm going to choose color. We could choose a different layer, and we could even create moving layers as our textures, but I'll simply choose color for all of the sides. The color is going to be defined here at the top. With the color selected, I can see that the lighting inside the plugin is taking over, creating a shadow on the side of the extruded type. We'll close this up, then change its camera system from camera position to comp camera. Now with the comp camera used to see the position of the type, we'll type C on the keyboard to bring up the orbit camera tool and fly around our text. Now you can see that the type is being extruded by the effect, and once the animation begins, because the force is in the center of our type still, each of these letters is going to fly out from the center much the way our bricks or the glass pattern did. And those will continue to tumble away. If I don't want these to tumble, I can simply change the force so that it has no effect or it doesn't intersect with our layer. Additionally, I could time remap this as one frame, then take advantage of the static 3D text produced by this effect. Now remember, because we're creating this in the type tool, in a pre-comp, if we go into that layer and change it, when we navigate back to the main comp, we can see that the type has been updated and all of the 3D parameters set by our shatter effect are still intact.